there you are. How are you doing? Welcome back, everyone, to another show from Cruise First TV. It's lovely, as always, to have your company and nice to welcome lots of new viewers seeing us for the very first time. Now we're on brand spanking new shiny Freeview Channel 89 in the afternoons between 1 and 4. Now, if you are new to us here at Cruise First, let's get a quick overview of what we've been doing for the best part now of 25 years. Here at Cruise First, we've been sending British travellers on amazing cruise holidays for over 20 years. Our award-winning team specialise in bringing you the best deals from all the major cruise lines sailing right across the globe. Whether you're looking to cruise locally or afar, with thousands of unmissable deals available right now, you can be sure we'll find you your perfect cruise holiday. So if you're ready, let's go cruising. Yeah, let's, it's worth a little visit over to our website as well, you know, because we are cruising with all of the major cruise lines right the way around the world, literally from like a 110 night world cruise down to a two night taster cruise just to find out what it's all about. So if you've never done cruising before, even if you don't fly, there are plenty of cruises going in and out of the UK as well. So just check out our website at cruisefirst.tv. And if you've got a firm plan or even a wibbly wobbly plan of what you fancy doing just give our team a call we'll find you the best deal 0800 953 4700 so that's cruise first and who we are now on to some amazing holiday chances now we're sailing or should i say voyaging with cunard in this show and later we're going to be cruising on the iconic queen mary 2 on a very special transatlantic crossing celebrating the world of film with a festival at sea in association with the British Film Institute in March. We're also going to take a look at a package for next October, taking you to Miami for a stay and then a Caribbean voyage on Queen Elizabeth. We'll get your place on that one secured with a deposit of less than £100 each. So it's a good chance to actually grab that opportunity as we will with our first offer, actually, that has a low deposit on it as well. It's taking us on an immersive Cunard Alaska voyage. This is going to be super, super special. Team up Alaska with Cunard and you've got the perfect combination. So we'll get started with 11 nights. This is the 15th of September we start next year by flying from the UK to Seattle in the States. And we're staying here in a hotel for three nights, which will be pretty special and very, very nice indeed. So let's just put Seattle on the map for a second. We're talking about the northwest of Washington here. It's known as the Emerald City as it's green all year round apparently. There are lots of wonderful parks for you to enjoy here. There's a great waterfront and there's actually really a, an awful lot to explore inland too. In the city itself you can head to the Discovery Park and see the landscape here which is just a few miles north and uh, they have wonderful tidal beaches, cliffs, thick forests and incredible views as well so just it's a wonderful I think when you go to the states just to explore the city just go people watching and the great thing is because you're there for three nights in a hotel you have plenty of time to do that and you're going to somewhere very very different I, mean, I think actually you could ask around all of your friendship circle and not many people will have been to Seattle so it's really lovely uh, get up to that space needle that we just saw there as well to see across the city then it is time for us to cruise now a very special cruise and a very, very special cruise ship as well, because this is Queen Elizabeth, one of only four ships that Cunard have. That's the incredible thing about Cunard. There are people from around the world who are taking their cruises, but there are only four ships available. So it's almost like this really exclusive corner of cruising. And that's why they call it voyaging, because of course, it's got that wonderful heritage which goes back so many years of that lovely white glove service, that lovely cut above, you know, that lovely classic voyaging. It's all about the experience. It's all about enjoying the wonderful grandiose, if you like, because of course, daytime, it's actually very, very casual um, on a Cunard voyage, of course, you know, we are, you know, dressed as we would normally be if we were going for a day out, for instance. And it's of an evening where everything kind of turns around, kind of five, six o'clock. And that's where you get ready for really special evenings where you can get glammed up and dolled up if you want to. Fellas, you can get the suit out, see if it still fits, get the dicky bow on. 
and do all of that and enjoy the very very finest service in the restaurant of course you go to the wonderful theater and experience west end style productions but you know what the overall experience combined with alaska makes this an absolutely dream trip i mean this would be on so many people's bucket list lots of people cruise alaska very few people actually do it with cunard so if you think about it the experience of the cruise the experience of the destination just works so hand in hand here now let's have a look at the kind of region that we are exploring let's have a deep dive into alaska because alaska is very much all about scenic voyaging it's about being up close where you can see crisp mountain air where you can when you're calling into the ports you can have these amazing experiences on land go and visit other glaciers uh, see the wildlife in its own habitat go whale watching um, these glaciers are just truly breathtaking let me tell you and there's an awful lot of history up in these wonderful little towns that you're visiting up in alaska as well so i just think you know it's not just a case of oh that's a lovely view it's these wonderful places that you're really getting to know as well you will love it let me walk you through the itinerary so we've got seven nights of cruising first port is ketchikan you can head down to neats bay here go and see the black bears on a float plane experience which would be nice it's a salmon spawning spot too or you can just go downtown for a stroll you cruise through the tracy arm fjord which is wonderful more glaciers and waterfalls to juno in alaska the mendenhall glacier trails really really popular here here um, as well you can buy great local goods here go on a gold mining adventure because of course this used to be gold mining territory in gold creek next we head to sitka now there's the historical park here there's a coastal trail telling the story of sitka there's st michael's cathedral that you can go and visit as well and also castle hill which is very very nice indeed day at sea and we are in victoria this is on vancouver island and you can head up to beacon hill park take the galloping goose trail or maybe even visit the bug zoo and it's called the brunch capital of canada so a really really beautiful city and very walkable we cruise back into seattle and that's then where we fly back to the uk as i say before this is the most incredible meeting of minds if you like alaska is one of those experience cruises a lot of people want to go and cruise alaska there is your itinerary your time in seattle then the alaskan cruise and then of course your flight back to the uk let's just talk about that experience for a second because when it comes to cruising how many cruises have you taken Okay, so some of you saying no cruises whatsoever, and some of you saying, ah, 20 plus cruises over the years. Cunard is one of those, it's, it's almost like that restaurant that gets booked up for months and months and months. It's very, very difficult to get on a Cunard voyage because there are only four ships. As I say, people around the world want to be cruising with them. So it can be very difficult to actually secure a place on one of these cruises. Now, Cunard going to Alaska is a whole new territory um, because Alaskan cruises are so, so popular because they are all about the experience. They're all about being there. They're all about the extraordinary scenery. And of course, everyone that cruises Alaska has a very different experience. No two cruises are the same. You know, will the glaciers be carving? Will you see the whales, you know, nearby the ship? in the place that you're cruising around everyone's story is a different one but this holiday even though we're talking september of next year we can book it today and lock in our price tag for a deposit which is unheard of 99 pounds each as a deposit to lock our package price in and the package remember is your flight from here all the way out to seattle three nights there in a hotel that's included in the price then your seven night voyage on Queen Elizabeth, cruising Alaska, back into Seattle, and then your flight back to the UK. Oh my crikey. You're thinking he's holding that price tag because it's seven grand each. I'm not. I haven't sat here on this wonderful couch for the best part of 10 years without bringing you back the very, very best deals in the cruise business 
We're not about, okay, let's get them to spend as much as they possibly can. That'll keep us in business. No, we're about finding you the very, very best deals for the very best cruise experiences as well. Remember, you can book this today and it is limited availability for just £99 each as a deposit today. Now, there are other dates for the package and the price varies by date. So you can go anytime from June to September next year, but the price varies by date. But if you can make the 15th of September next year work for you, a £99 each deposit makes this price an absolute reality. And there's only one way of finding that out, and that's by calling our team here, 0800 953 4700. If you're watching me on Sky, by the way, you can press the pause button, go and make the call right now, get it booked. Have a look at the upgrade prices first before you do that. Let's have a look at that. Because remember, we don't, we don't necessarily sail Cunard every year. We might do it every few years, we might do it once a decade, and Alaska is a very, very special cruise experience. So think about those upgrades up to a balcony. Think about psychologically how that feels. You know when you're telling people about this holiday for the best part of the next year, Oh yeah, we're um, we're going on a cruise up to uh, Alaska. Oh yeah, well, we, yeah, we're going with Cunard. Oh, we have a balcony. Yes, naturally, it, it's Alaska. You want to see every minute of that. Completely up to you. You have your solo price on the screen there as well. Lots of people uh, wanting these experienced cruises and they're just going by themselves, not a problem whatsoever. I tell you what, you will make friends like you would not believe on one of these cruises because you'll meet the most fascinating people along the way. So, if you want to know more, just speak to the team, 0800 953 4700. Now, some of you might be looking for something that's a little warmer than Alaska. You might want to be a little bit more horizontal than you would be in Alaska. So, let's take you to the Caribbean and Miami. This is the 25th of October next year, and it's 13 nights overall. And we'll start by flying you over to Miami from the UK for a three night hotel stay there. Uh, Miami is a fantastic place. I mean, listen, at the end of October, when, well, you know what's happening here. You're not sat out in the garden on your lounger, enjoying the sunshine at the end of October, are you? What's happening at the end of October? It's dark when you get up, it's dark from late afternoon, and it's pretty cold in between, right? You've all got the heating on, and the electric blanket on and everything else. And you could be in Miami. You could be in Miami, enjoying the wonderful sunshine and oodles of experiences that you can have in Miami itself. And of course, this stay for three nights in Miami is all about looking forward to your cruise. And here she is. It is the wonderful Queen Elizabeth from Cunard. She is just so grand. It's funny, isn't it? And there is something about the association of the name, um, of course, and it being Cunard that makes it feel even more special, even more grand, even more of an occasion to look forward to. And I think you will absolutely love every single minute of your voyage. There are so many activities and so many different things happening um, during the day as well. Obviously, we're looking at the bars and the lounges and the restaurants and the shows right now, just to show you the wide variety Afternoon tea. Every single day of the cruise, you can enjoy afternoon tea. Now, just think of the juxtaposition here. We're cruising around the Caribbean. So there you are. I think it's four o'clock in the afternoon. I think it's four o'clock, maybe five o'clock, probably four. Afternoon tea. There you are in the Caribbean, but you're sat with a nice cup of tea. Is it true it cools you down? I don't know, it's never really worked for me, but tea and fancy cakes, maybe you'll upgrade your afternoon tea to a champagne one. Dining in the evening, you can do that al fresco if you want to, you are gonna be in the Caribbean, remember, for this cruise. The most incredible restaurants, as you can see, pamper treatments galore, there's an onboard florist as well, so if you're celebrating something while you're away, you could have a dozen red roses sent to your loved one in the cabin. How amazing would that be? Very, very lovely experience in terms of the big theatre performances. And just look, the surroundings are so grand and beautiful. And of course, remember, 
we're in the Caribbean, so we can be nice and casual during the day and enjoy the sunshine. Here's where we go, out of Miami to Amber Cove in the Dominican Republic. Now, this is a private resort, actually, for the Carnival Corporation ships. Really nice here. You can take a rickshaw ride, take a beach excursion, rent a water bungalow, a pedal boat or a kayak. Day at sea, and we're in Montego Bay in Jamaica. Take a horse ride in the Caribbean Sea here. Um, and you can ride through the jungles and the farms as well. Really lovely experience. There's coffee and pineapple plantations there as well, so you can enjoy fruit straight from the trees. Day at sea into Belize City, lush tropical rainforests here, a whole wealth of ancient Mayan history. You can visit the ancient trails there. Uh, you can take a trip snorkeling if you fancy around the coral reef and see the exotic marine life. Into Cozumel next in Mexico. Now there are a number of private beach clubs that you can enjoy here that you can book up. They offer amazing service and relaxation with lovely ocean views. Um, and yeah, there's lots of different choices there as well. Very, very nice indeed. And then we have a day at sea back to Miami. And that's where we have to fly back to the UK. Or maybe not, or maybe you'll add a stay to the end of your cruise or maybe you think well hang on a second we end in Miami that's in America as well how about we do something else in America from here before we fly back to the UK I mean after all we're talking in October here there's no rush to get back is there food for thought on this one because it's 13 nights as it is the holiday I tell you what every one of these you know I, I, I sometimes just look at the time of year that it's going and I just think yeah I'm ready I'm so ready Honestly, because we've had no two days that we could string together this year that we could call anywhere near a summer. So the thought of being out in the Caribbean in the winter, which is where everyone and um, why everyone goes to the Caribbean in the winter, because it's sunny and warm. It's easy, isn't it? So this is your dream getaway, October next year. But we can book it today with a deposit of just £99 each. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Just give us £99 each today and that's it. That's your Caribbean treat for next winter sorted. And that includes the flight out to Miami from the UK, three nights in a hotel there, and then your Caribbean cruise on Queen Elizabeth for nine nights, including their Amber Cove Resort in the Dominican Republic. And of course, your flight back from Miami to the UK, or maybe you'll choose to, you know, eke that holiday on even further. But the package as it is, look at this price. It's a great price to start. 1899 per person. That's flights to and from America. You'll stay in Miami and the cruise to the Caribbean with Cunard on the Queen Elizabeth. Now, there are other dates on the package that run from October next year through to March in 2026. That's how organised you can be. That's how far in advance you can plan these cruises. And remember, low deposit of just £99 per person. So that's the price for the 25th of October. Uh, if you want to speak about the other date ranges, just talk to the team. Price varies by date, obviously. So talk to the team. You've got the number there, 0800 953 for 700 and to upgrade to that balcony in the caribbean let's have a look at the prices for those shall we there you go there's your prices to upgrade to ocean view balcony or suite i mean maybe it is i always think in my mind because you know i'm a romantic old soul at heart i always think when you when you're looking at the upgrade prices that maybe you're celebrating something but maybe for you, only a balcony will do. You want the very best of everything all the time. But I think if you are celebrating something nice, maybe it's your first time on Cunard, for instance. Maybe you're celebrating, right, that's it. I'm done with work. Goodbye to that. I'm retiring. And with my lump sum, I'm going to treat myself to a suite on the Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice way to start that kind of thing, isn't it? Anyway, give us a call, 0800 953 4700. Right, listen, here at Cruise First, we have been in the cruise business for the best part of 25 years. That means a lot of people, thousands, got to be hundreds of thousands over those 25 years, have put their faith in us for booking their next cruise, and here's why. With over 20 years of travel experience, when booking with Cruise First, you're dealing with the cruise specialists. We can tailor make the perfect holiday for you, adding hotel stays and exciting land tours so you can fully immerse yourself in the destinations you're visiting. 
As a fully bonded member of APTA and at all protected, you have the peace of mind that your booking is safe with us. We've been on your TV screens for over a decade, and we guarantee the best cruise prices. If you find one of our offers cheaper elsewhere on TV, then we'll match or beat that price. We allow you to spread the cost of your holiday with many of our deals. Just pay a deposit today, and then you have until your due date to pay your balance. Plus, we're one of the highest rated cruise agents on Trustpilot with over 6,000 independent reviews so you can be fully confident when booking your next holiday with Cruise First. Something that um, Trish just said made me smile then um, about putting a deposit down and then paying your balance up to your due date. Your due date is usually about four months before you go away. So if it's a trip that's further out, you can put a deposit now and then just pop in little bits to pay it off and then pay the balance by your um, due date. And I saw something online. It wasn't that long ago, actually, and it's stuck in my head. Not many things do these days. Um, but it was some kind of meme about, you know, I booked my crew so far in advance that by the time it happened, it felt like it was free. And, and that's a really good way to think about it in a way, isn't it? Get, get that budgeting out of the way at a steady pace that's comfortable for you. And then by the time you go on the cruise, you know, especially if you've booked a drinks package with it or whatever, you know, by the time you're actually on it, you're like, oh yeah, it does. It feels like it's free now. It feels like I can really enjoy it. It's incredible. Now, Cunard have a very, very special sailing coming up on the 8th of March, transatlantic going over to New York. And it's a luxury film festival at sea so we've packaged that up with a stay in new york for you for 11 nights as well and it's on queen mary too as well so let's go and have a little look around her so this will be the seven night crossing transatlantic the classic transatlantic crossing on queen mary too but this cruise is a, a little bit of a cruise with a difference actually because the film festival has been set up in association with the BFI, the British Film Institute, and you can attend film themed events and activities right the way through the cruise. You'll hear from industry experts and icons yet to be named. I've tried to find out, but I have no names so far. Uh, you'll be able to test your knowledge at film themed quizzes. You can discover the world behind the scenes of the film industry and the BFI London Film Festival uh, by watching wonderful classics as well. Cinema classics are actually going to be screened uh, in illuminations. Uh, plenty of well-loved films can be enjoyed in the comfort of your suite or your stateroom as well, which is really, really good. Uh, so maybe you just fancy having a, a nice classic film night in your pyjamas. Have... Uh, have something wonderful sent by room service to your own stateroom uh, and you can be part of this film festival. I have to say Cunard are being a little tight-lipped as to who and when and exactly what but that's all the detail I know so far. Listen, I think you're going to love this anyway because this is that classic transatlantic crossing over seven nights on the Queen Mary 2 and then of course sailing in to New York that's going to be very very special of course when you get there we're not just simply coming off the ship and flying home it would be rude not to stay so we've booked you into a wonderful hotel in New York for four incredible nights now you're talking about March here as well which is a wonderful time to go and explore New York we talk about New York all the time here on the channel um, and the great thing is so many cruises go in and out of New York. It's a great place to, everyone wants to see it, right? You've heard so many things, you've seen it in films over the years so many times, but still so few people have actually been out there and spent some time. Well, of course, you know what all of the big sights and sounds in New York are going to be. And I say this every single time, I can give you a thousand ideas, but you'll go with your own shopping list. It, it's like, you know, you know what you want to go and see first. I would love to go and see a show on Broadway. I would love to wander or hire a bike actually and cycle around Central Park. I'm not jogging it. I'm not that energetic at all. Empire State Building, love to see that. You'd love to go and see the Statue of Liberty. Of course, you're gonna see it on the sail in. Um, as you come into New York and that is definitely worth being up early to see that sailing into New York but you've got four nights there in a hotel which are going to have the most incredible time and then of course in our package will include the flight 
back to the UK as well. So there you go, there's your itinerary. Uh, most of it, of course, is your transatlantic sailing, but remember, very, very special occasion. This particular one on the 8th of March is a film festival cruise. So you'll, um, you'll be able to get involved in so many different activities. If you are a bit of a film buff, it's gonna be a, you know, a real kind of date in the diary. And actually, you know, maybe one of you is, one of you isn't. If there's plenty of other things going on on the ship as well. Of course, you've got wonderful uh, spa on board and so many other things to enjoy as well. So, great getaway for March, starting, of course, with that Cunard Film Festival cruise on Queen Mary 2 from Southampton out to New York. When you leave the cruise, you enjoy four nights hotel stay in New York before then flying back to the UK. Your deposit on this one is £299 each and the price of the whole thing. I am surprised, you know. I know I've tried a couple, I know I've said this so many times. Um, I've tried a few times to price up just a few nights in New York with flights and I've been scared away by the numbers that come up. I'm like, okay, maybe I'm never going to New York. But this includes a four night hotel stay in New York, your flight uh, and your flight back to the UK, which is ridiculous, isn't it? For that price at 1299 and deposits on this just 299 pounds each now there are other dates for the regular transatlantic cruise on queen mary 2 and they run from march through to december next year and of course we can always package that up with a stay in new york you know maybe another cruise to somewhere else from new york and then queen mary 2 back at some time later we can do it all just talk to the team 0800 953 4700 uh, if you want to upgrade your stateroom on queen mary 2 for this one let's have a look at the price tag um, think about it as well because you know your balcony yes this is a, a purely at sea crossing on queen mary 2 but think about your balcony think about maybe having dinner out on the balcony before you watch one of those classic films part of this film festival cruise in your balcony stateroom think about champagne and orange juice out on the balcony first thing in the morning for your breakfast maybe it's a little early for champagne well listen one at a time responsibly once a year on holiday that's allowed isn't it, 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 it just treat it like it was Christmas do you know what I mean it's up to you completely up to you we've got an amazing package on offer there uh, and the number to call is 0800 953 4700 and listen every Cunard experience that there is to have around the world you can book with us here at Cruise First you can go searching by cruise line on our website cruisefirst.tv that'll show you all the hottest deals and all of the sailings and listen if you don't even don't even want the effort of searching through the website just give our team a call they'll search out the cruise for you They'll team it up with stays if you want to. I mean, this, this package, for instance, that's got four nights in New York at the end on a hotel stay. Let's say you want to fly on from New York to somewhere else before you come back to the UK. Maybe you want to fly over to Barbados, have a few nights in a hotel there before you go back. Take another Caribbean cruise. There are loads and loads of different adventures that you can have from New York. Or you can simply just extend that four night hotel stay to seven nights or even more if you want to. Listen, let's make it a long and romantic holiday as long as you possibly can. Um, it's incredible. Listen, if our team can be of any use to you, any cruise line, anywhere around the world, and remember, we'll say as well that we'll match or beat any other prices that you see on TV as well. So if you've seen any other deals somewhere else, bring it to us and we'll see if we can match or beat that price for you. Thousands of offers all the time on our website too at Cruise First. TV. Don't forget, of course, you can watch us every day on Sky 681 all day, seven days a week. And also now a free view in the afternoons on Channel 89 between 1 and 4. See you back here soon.